welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this eyeshadow tutorial using the new palette from the ColourPop and Avatar, the last Airbender collection. So I use this beautiful palette here and it has so many stunning colors, but I really wanted to use those like blues and the golds. So I used some other products from that collection as well. And if you guys want to hear my thoughts at the very end, I mentioned some other products that were a part of the collection. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see more of the products and also of course everything put to action here in this tutorial so if you guys want to see how I got this eyeshadow look using this new collection then please keep on watching okay so I have some under eye setting powder on my under eyes to help catch any fallout and first we're going to start by priming our eyelids I'm going to be using the ColourPop party proof eyeshadow primer I'm just going to blend that out with my fingertips So first I'm going to go in with this mustardy matte yellow shade here in the palette called Air Temple. I'm going to place that generously in my crease. blending brush I'm gonna go in to this beautiful matte blue shade here called ice shield and I'm gonna place that in the crease as well so I'm focusing that beautiful blue shade kind of towards the inner corner. I really wanna make sure that you see it when we create that cut crease after. And I'm just kind of like dragging it out in like that V kind of motion. So now I'm gonna create a cut crease. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 00, which is this, which is just their white concealer. Then I'm gonna take a flat concealer brush and place that on to the inner corner of my eye bear and just carving out that cut crease, kind of bringing it like halfway towards the lid. Kind of diffusing that concealer and not really being too precise on the outer corner because we are going to blend that in more with the metallic shadow so you don't really have to be so precise on the outer corner but you just want to make sure that you get that nice definition on the inner corner to really make those metallic shadows pop and last longer on the eyelids i'm going to be using one of my favorite products the nyx glitter primer i'm going to place that on the lid where we carved out that cut crease and then i'm going to go in with those two metallics the blue and the gold there and kind of just like blend the two together is on the eyelids I'm gonna wait so it gets a little bit tacky there and then I'm gonna go in with those two shades like I said the metallic gold called quicksand and then the moon spirit metallic blue which is really beautiful so I'm gonna go in just with a like a flat kind of fluffy brush here this is a Zoeva 234 luxe smoky shader brush first I'm gonna go in with this gold shade called quicksand and I'm just gonna be patting that on at the inner corner about halfway to the middle of the lid is just 
just so buttery and pigmented. It is just so beautiful. And I'm just kind of like packing it on to the inner corner and bringing it in. I'm just kind of leaving it towards the middle of the lid and then we're going to kind of blend in at that metallic blue there. So I'm just going to be using a wet wipe and just kind of giving this brush a quick clean and then we're going to go in with that beautiful metallic blue. That shade there is called Moon Spirit and I'm going to place that on the outer corner of the lid. bright and it just like pops on the lid so as you guys can see I'm just kind of blending in at that blue and the gold together so it just looks like they fade into one another and I'm just diffusing at that metallic blue on the outer corner okay so now I'm just gonna wipe away that under eye setting powder along with all of that fallout that we did have I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner with the shade here in the palette called Air Blast and that is just a really nice champagne type of metallic shade there. It's really pretty. So that just adds a little pop of that light champagne there to kind of give the eye even more dimension. Then on the lower lash line I'm going to go in back to that matte blue there in the palette called Ice Shield and I'm going to smoke that out with a small thinner blending brush. I'm going to do a nice thick cat eye liner. I'm going to be using this ColourPop liquid liner. This is their felt tip liner, which I really love. It has really good staying power. This one is just their black one in the shade Numero Uno. I'm just going to start by lining the upper lash line here. I like to just create a thin eye that just goes straight and then I'm just going to connect it. liner here so I created that kind of triangle there and then I'm just gonna connect everything onto the lid Also came out with a few creme gel liners as a part of this collection. I'm gonna be using this beautiful metallic blue in here. This one is called Making Waves, and it is just a really gorgeous, like bright royal metallic blue. So I'm gonna place that on my waterline. some mascara. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I'm just going to place it on the top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on a pair of lashes. I will link the specific pair that I'm using in the description box and then I will be right back. completed a look using some of the new products from the new ColourPop Avatar the last airbender collection so it is just a really fun collection based off of the show I believe it's a show it's like a cartoon so I really love this palette I think it's just so cute it's so pretty first of all I love the fact that you kind of open it up like a book and you're getting all these stunning shades here they're all like themed like the bottom is the air then you have the fire 
the earth and then the water which is all the blues so I really love how they're kind of like organized that way and I just really love those blues and that gold with the blue I just thought is so pretty that metallic blue just like totally pops it is like so bright it's even brighter I feel like when you apply it then it actually looks in the pan so I absolutely love it they were just so pigmented so buttery I am obsessed with the colors here I definitely want to use like those reds in there I think that they are so pretty so let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette I would love to do them for you guys if you're interested of course I also really love the creme gel liners that they released they released I believe four new ones so I use the blue metallic one which is so pretty I felt like it just made the blue in the look kind of just pop even more and I also released some super shock cheek Highlighters. I actually used one to highlight my nose. I use this shade here called Moon Peach. So I have Moon Peach and Got Glow, which is a really nice, like more bronzy one. Moon Peach is a little brighter, and as the name says, it is definitely more peachy. So as I said, I used it to highlight my nose there. So that is the shade. It is just so pretty and just really beautiful. So hopefully you guys can see how pretty and blinding that highlighter is. I just love their Super Shock Shadow highlighters. That one is just like a stunning metallic peach shade. I also came out with this, with this overnight lip mask. This is in the Jasmine Tea scent and it smells so good and it is so moisturizing. I actually used it before I put my lipstick on here and it is really, really great. So I love like lip moisturizing products. So you get like this little, tub here so this is their fourth ray beauty brand which is the sister company of ColourPop. it is like their skincare one and i really love this jasmine tea lip chap it is just so nice and like so moisturizing so i wanted to mention that because it is also part of the collection and i'm also really excited to try out this other fourth ray beauty set here this is called their water and earth set so you get a hydrating hyaluronic acid mask and then you get a big detox mud mask so it comes in like a little duo here which i think is so adorable i just love skincare i love that ColourPop has fourth ray beauty which is their skincare brand and they like to include it sometimes with their other makeup collections so these are the two little products here that came in a little duo set so one is a mud mask and one is a hyaluronic like hydrating mask so i think i'm actually going to use this tonight so i will write what my thoughts in the description box if i like these little products here but i just wanted to mention them because they did come with this collection and i just love skincare as well so i was really excited for these so I hope you guys like this tutorial and like first impressions on that adorable ColourPop Avatar The Last Airbender collection. So let me know if you guys want to see more looks using that palette. I really, like I said, want to use those like burnt reds in there. So let me know if you want to see a look using those colors. And I hope that you guys are doing well. If you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!